Let's get more now on that humanitarian situation inside South Sudan. And I'm joined here in studio by Heath Apgano, the regional information officer responsible for East and Central Africa for the aid organization Doctors Without Borders, MSF. Welcome, uh, Heather, to the program. Now, how dire is the humanitarian situation in South Sudan? I've just returned from South Sudan and I can tell you the situation is incredibly dire. Um, hundreds of thousands of people have been displaced from their homes and entire towns have been brutally attacked with little regard for civilian life and infrastructure, including hospitals, which have proved no exception. Malakal is said to be rather volatile at this moment, though. Who is responsible for the situation in Malakal? What exactly is happening there? So in Malakal, there were uh, very large-scale fighting um, last week in the town. Our teams went to the hospital over the weekend and assessed the situation there, and we found a horrific scene of what patients that had um, shown signs that had been killed in their beds, shot dead in their beds. And um, many wards of the hospital had been burned down and the hospital had been looted. Um, this is, for, from our perspective as MSF, medical care is under fire in South Sudan. These brutal attacks have, uh, have displaced ent entire populations and people are unable to go home. What kind of numbers are we talking about now? Because it seems like the uh, ceasefire agreement is not holding. What kind of casualties are we talking about? What kind of numbers in terms of death toll? It's impossible to give an idea about the death toll. The situation is so volatile and chaotic on the ground. And like I said, I mean, hospitals have proven no exception. Our hospital in the nearby Unity States in Lair was burned to the ground. We had to have evacuated at the beginning of uh, February and we came back uh, just uh, over a week ago and there's nothing left. Not a single hospital bed remains in the compound. W what kind of uh, uh, situation are you faced, uh, humanitarian agencies such as yours, what kind of challenges are you facing now inside South Sudan? For MSF to be able to work in a conflict zone, this is what we do. We need respect from all the warring parties to respect our facilities and to respect patients and that clearly is not happening in South Sudan today. Patients are killed in their beds, hospitals are burned down in, in the midst of brutal attacks against a wider backdrop of brutal attacks in these in these areas. It is difficult to prove how many people have lost their lives so far, but what can be done though to alleviate the situation, not just in Malacca, but in South Sudan, in areas where the fighting is still ongoing? Well, clearly there needs to be a much better um, protection for civilians in general. Um, the, the, there's been little regard for civilian life and infrastructure. And for us, for our side, what we need as MSF is respect for our patients and our facilities, that we can treat patients no matter who they are, where they come from. They all deserve the right to health care. All right, Heather Pagano, thank you very much for joining us here with that fragile situation in South Sudan.